Smoky 1000 and today I have another Timu. Yes, there is somebody missing because she's back in the hospital again. So, yeah, we had an incident and she ended up back in the hospital. She's not doing too good. She's having a hard time. So, um, I think this time they're going to try to put her back into um, the rehab hospital that she was in. They don't know what's causing what she's doing. Um, she's passing out and throwing up. So, um, yeah, she's she has AFib. So is it the AFib? They don't know. They just they just don't know. So I'm going to put her back into the rehab hospital that she was in. She's very weak again. Um, so we'll, we'll go from there. And then I'm thinking about um, her going to a nursing home for more rehab after that instead of her coming home. Because when she came home, she did really well for a little bit. But then she went downhill, and she went downhill fast. And um, so maybe she just needed more than what she got because rehab hospitals, they only keep them so long, and they only keep the, her in there for like 14 days, and then they kick you out. Now you can go to another facility, you know, or something like that, but they, they don't keep them in there very long, so... I think if she had had maybe another month in there, she might have been a lot better than what she is. But, so, I'm going to do this team move without her. Um, yeah, and I don't know when she'll be coming home. But I'll keep you all in tuned so you know. But I want her stronger. I want her healthier. And not to pass out on me. It's, it's stressful and it's scary. So, anyways... As we go, we're going to do our Timu. I remember the Timu I did with my mom, and I said that there was a um, item missing. Well, it was for the, our projector. Mar Shea Bear got a projector for me for my birthday, so we could watch movies when we go camping. I've been wanting one forever, and so he got me one for for my birthday so we take it out when we go camping as you know in our um in our in our camping stuff you have probably seen it not mine necessarily but if you've gone to Shea Bear's channel you would you would see it anyways I got a screen because what we were trying to do we he put the projector in between us when we were laying in the back of the SUV but he was trying to hang something a screen so he could um, you know we could see it so I came I was thinking when I saw this I thought this would work if we do it that way or it can go in the tent or something like that so this is our screen it is cloth it is white and it has holes on it so you can hang it and probably you can hang it with anything you want and it this is will work I think it's pretty good size um, yeah, I think it's a good size. Let me see on here what the size was. Uh, they asked me if I wanted my money back. I said, no, I want the item. This is what I wanted, you know. So they sent it to me. It took a little bit, though, to get it, but we got it. And here it is. Let me see how much it was, if I can find it. Uh... It's not going to let me open it. Nope. Of course not. Why would it? Let's see if I can do it this way. Uh, it's not going to let me open it that way either. They're making this harder and harder. I don't know why. Why can't they just leave things the way they were? You know, made life easier. I don't know. Everybody's got to change things all the time. Makes them feel important, I guess. I don't know. So, I was trying to find it for you. Let me uh, screen. 
Oh, I know what I did wrong. Hold on. Crazy girl. Uh, let me see. Here's my orders. We'll go down. And it's, it was way down here. Okay, let me see if I can. Where's my receipt? There it is. Open my receipt. Okay, it was $7.98. That's what it was. And it's for outdoors, it's 60 inches. So that's what it is 60 inches. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad. 60 inches. I think we could use this. You can use it out of a hanging by a tree if you wanted to. You know, sit outside by the fire and watch a movie. So, yeah. It's nice to have a projector out there. You know, especially if it's raining. You have nothing else to do all day. You can sit there and watch some movies, you know. Documentaries or something. So, that was what we got. Now, these ones that are supposed to be in this bag are f my f Fishland ones that I won. That is what they're supposed to be. Let me see. I might get fooled. Who knows? Because everybody's complaining that your stuff is is um, being jumbled into different bags. So I tried to separate them. I try to make sure it's shipped out before I order another one. So then they can't do that. <laughs> That's what I try to do. So, uh, yeah. As long as it's been shipped out, I figure, well, they, they can't put two orders together, right? No. You never know. Anyways, so... This is what I got from Fishland. I'm going to back you up a little bit so you guys can come down and see see what I got here. Uh, yeah, I think you can guys can see. Okay, I got me a sweater. And, you know, it's been cold in Florida, and I don't have many sweaters. I really don't. I don't know if you call this a sweater, though. I don't think I call this a sweater. But this is supposed to be a sweater. I tell you what, this thing does not look like that picture. I'll show you guys the picture. It's cute though. Oh, is this ever cute? This is really cute. And it's got little pockets. Got little pockets, long sleeved. This will be this will be fine. I'll use this anyway. So oh, I like this. This is really cute. It would go great with what the pants I got on right now. So yeah. Got a little heart. It's not that plastic stuff either. It's it's no no plasticky. So that's nice. It's a little heavy, but that's what you want when it's cold out. I mean, it's been cold here in Florida. So this is the picture. Let me see if I can bring it up better. Okay, they want ten ten dollars and nineteen cents for it, um, but this is. This is the picture right here. Kind of looks like a sweater sweater, but this is not. This is this is not sweater material. This is. It's got lining in it, which is nice. Probably keep you warm, anyways. Um, but it's not like a regular sweater like we're used to. Let me see if the labels here somewhere. Yeah. It's a two extra large. It's 95 per polyester and 5% spandex. So, um, yeah, it's still cute. I really like it though. Well, it's long enough. I probably use it as a dress almost. You know, but this will be fine for Florida. And, uh, you know, you don't need real thickness. Um, probably, I don't know how many days I'm going to be able to wear this. Um, you know, right now. It's starting to get a little bit warmer, but we still had, I had the heat on. I had to turn it on and, and this morning to warm up the house, you know, so, um, yeah. So I got that. Then the other one, let's see here, I'm going to back this up a bit. The other one I got from one of my grandbabies, and I really wanted this. I tried to do this 
before Christmas. And it took me this until now, about what, three or four weeks ago, I won them. So, and it took this time to get them. So I wanted this for, for Christmas for my grandbaby. And then I was like, you know, he's got plenty of stuff. I didn't think I was going to get it, win it in time. So I was like, well, if I get, if I do win it, which I did, I will save it and for another holiday, birthday, another Christmas or something like that and just keep it. And these are all cars. There is, I think, 50 of them. 50 cars, I think, in here. I will show you. 50 pieces with storage box mini alloy. Let me see if I can find the price on here for you, just in case you guys are interested in. This would be great, girls. You know, great birthday gift, Christmas gift for a kid. Yeah, so let me tell them what one is going to get this, but yeah. Look at all the cars in there. Wow. I would have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can put them on our track, though. Yeah, I don't think that would work. So, let me see here. $18.99 for 50 cars. They're alloy tin cars. So, that's pretty cool. I, I really think that's cute. I will hang on to this, and birthdays are coming up. So, somebody will be getting that. And... There's one more thing here that I got. I won. And it's, it's in here. It's a little, um, what do they call this thing? No, what do they call these things? It is an ultrasonic essential oil um, diffuser. So I got this for the house. My mom has one in her room, and I, I wanted one just for the house. And what I like about this one, it has a cord, and you just can charge it and leave it. And um, you don't need batteries for the thing or nothing. So you put your water in there and a little bit of the essential oils in there and go to it. I don't know if it's charged. Probably not because you gotta put water in it. It does give you directions here. Oh, there are English and Chinese on this one. And there you go, there's the English. And you can freeze it if you like, if you're interested. I'll put this together and I'll show you at the end of this video. So, yeah, so that's cool. And you get the little cord for it. So, that's what I won off my fish land. So that's, that's a good variety there. So that is it for now, guys. Um, I do have one package here that I could do with a video, but I want to wait until the other one comes because they split the two into two bags. So I, w I will wait until the next one comes. It should be behind this one because I ordered them at the same time. So when they come, I will do another Timu haul. I have about maybe four, four or five orders <laughs> coming. Yeah. So stay tuned. I'll have more Timu stuff. And I just put up a camping, our camping one up. It got a little behind because I was at the hospital with my mom. So, but I got it up today. So go check that out. And go check out Shea Bear's um, camping and his solo camping that he did too. So stay tuned for more. We'll have plenty more coming. Pretty soon we'll be able to get the boat going. Hopefully we got the stuff for the boat. So he has to work on that. But it's been too freaking cold. So we'll wait until it gets a little warmer and he'll probably work on that. And then we'll be able to go boating and fishing again. I'm really want to take the boat some places but we have to fix the trailer first before we do that so anyways that's it for now guys take care have a good week rest well it is today's friday Oof, already so have a great weekend if i don't put another one up until next week so take care thank you so out bye y'all
Okay guys, so I got my uh, little um, essential oil thing. Okay, you just use tap water or mineral water only, okay? And you just take the top off, you just open the cover and push and turn up, press down, press down and up. And then you are to put the USB cord in it. So, um, I'm going to put some of these essential oil stuff in there. I'm going to put a couple of drops in there. Just somebody walking by. Sorry, guys. And I put a little bit in there. I like to get it going. So, And then it has this little, little piece here that you have to replace every once in a while. So to replace it, you take this uh, plastic off. But it has a spring there. You have to make sure that you don't lose the spring. And then you just put the cotton kind of thing on there. So I'm going to put this on here. And Bruno's down here eating, so if you hear him. And uh, you plug it in. There, you plug it in. Doesn't give you a very long cord. I guess you have to keep it plugged in in order to use it. So, I had to put the um, directions on my phone. I just took a picture of it so I could see it better and I can read it. So, maybe you guys can see that better than what I had if you're interested in it. Um, so it says you, you plug it in, turn, turn it on. I don't know if it'll do it yet or not. Um, it's supposed to spray. You're supposed to hold the button for the first time to start continuous spray. Yeah, it might take a few minutes. I don't know. Hopefully it's not broken. I don't think it is. It just takes a few minutes. For continuous spray. It hasn't done nothing. Um, hmm. Uh, it says for spray option, first time on the power, press the button for the first time to start continue spraying. Press the button for the second time to start intermittent. So if you hold it down one time and let it go, it's supposed to do the continuous spray. If you hold it again and that, it's supposed to intermit it. And then spray for three seconds, then stop for three seconds. One, two, three. You have to probably turn it off. Press the button for the third time to turn off the humidifier. Hmm. It is supposed to have lights on here. I am going to let it sit for a few minutes and I'll come back. Okay, guys, I got it now. It was, I, I had to play with the cord a little bit, and then it started to work. I don't know if I just didn't have it in all the way or, or something, but I got it now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so you guys can see the, the color of it. It has different colors. It's pretty cool. Mm. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that, I had a phone call. Um, so yeah, you can see all the different colors you got there. Um, let me get my phone again. I don't know if I still have it on my screen or not. I might have to go look at it. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, okay. So what you do is um, for the first time you turn on the power, you press the button for the first time to start continue spraying. So I haven't, I don't know if I see any spraying. This, let's see what that does. And to intermit spray, you're supposed to hold, hold the button. Press the button for the second time. So if I press it down again, that should 
do intermittent, but that looks like it's off. I don't think so. See, that's on. So I'm thinking this is your first time. The second time, it should show something. We'll give it a few minutes. I'll leave it on, and I'll come back in just a minute to see it, how if it's going to work or not. It should. It should warm up. It should be bubbling. I don't know. I have no idea. Because it should come through that hole right there. It's cute though. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll come back. I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Okay guys, I got to go in now. It's yeah. working. Shaver is being funny over here in the corner. So we'll try to ignore him. Anyways, yeah, he's... That was Shea Bear. <laughs> so, not my fault you do, do the tooting thing. Alright, so, yeah, it's working. There it goes. It took a little bit, but it did come on. I had to um, make sure the, the, the wick was in there tight. Um, it might have been a little bit loose, so all of a sudden it started to work. So, there we go. I like it. It's cute. Um, but I believe you have to keep it plugged in to, to use it. Um, I thought maybe you could just charge it and then move it somewhere and just leave it, but... It doesn't seem to be like that. So, but I like it. It's cute. There you go.